peace. Amen. Nigeria must enjoy peace. Amen. No to oppression. Amen. The church is saying bloodshed must stop. Amen. President of the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria, PFN, Reverend Felix Omobudi has called on the President Muhammadu Buhari to address what seems to be the sustained gruesome killings of innocent Nigerians. He made this call in Benin City while leading members of his church on a peaceful protest march as directed by the Christian Association of Nigeria, Khan, as part of advocacy to kick against the increasing rate of insecurity across Nigeria. PFN boss during the walk encouraged Christians all over the country not to be discouraged by the hostilities exhibited towards them, but be motivated that in Christ all struggles yield results. He encouraged them to pray continuously. Khan, Khan has met the president on a number of occasions. And we represent the people. You cannot tell me that you don't feel the hate. So this is the voice, or these are the voices of the masses. We will continue to dialogue, but this is the church reacting to situation that are, that is on ground. We want them to know that it is it is something that is the concern of everyone, and we are saying now the government should sit down, take a good look. If it doesn't concern them immediately, like your child or your wife or your husband, it seems as if that's why they are not pulling any weight. But now we are telling them we are tired, death is just glooming at our face. People can go out, they are not secure, they are afraid, even in their own home. So we are telling the government, we believe in prayer, but we are now saying faith without work is, is, is dead, being alone. Now let the government put all its machinery to work and come out and do the needful. We don't want game playing in this matter. And so it's high time the church, the church is doing the right thing to call on the government to wake up to its responsibility to call on the service chiefs to do the needful, to actually tackle the banditry in the country and tackle the insecurity in the country. We are not seeing enough of this being done and we can't afford to be silent. To be silent would mean to accommodate the situation. And this is why the church is speaking up. We have to just keep on speaking up because we can't tolerate and or accept the kind of insecurity that is going on in the country anymore. Similar protests took place across Nigeria on February 2nd by Christians condemning the high speed of killings. Orgene Tejiri Owego reporting.